Hello, in this video we're going to uh, talk about how to make a transfer function using Microsoft Excel. And uh, transfer, uh, first of all, uh, what we're going to use as an example is I have a uh, an AD595 uh, thermocouple amplifier uh, that I'm using to, uh, with a thermocouple and I want to uh, convert the output from that to uh, an actual uh, temperature reading in a, a microcontroller. Uh, so in the data sheet for this, I have um, with a couple paragraphs here to describe the equation that can be uh, the equations that can be put together to determine the temperature from the output. And it, you can spend some time doing all the algebra to uh, get the correct equation out of this, uh, but that does open you up to a lot of uh, potential for errors. Uh, speak from an experience that uh, that usually uh, uh, errors in these outputs have to do with the algebra that's done. Uh, but they also in this data sheet they give a table of uh, values and outputs. So here I have uh, uh, temperature uh, in degrees C and the output from the AD595 over here in millivolts. And uh, so what I've done in Excel is I've, I've already input from 0 to 300 C, and that's the range I want to measure in. And uh, I've uh, just entered those in here. And now uh, I actually want to convert that millivolts to volts. So that's what I've done here. You see uh, I have instead of uh, on the data sheet, it has 2.7 millivolts. Well, that's uh, 0 0.0027 volts. And I've done that all the way down. Now it's just, this is uh, real simple. Um, you want to have your uh, the value that you're the real world value that you're you're trying to determine in the first column and the second column is the output, uh, and uh, have those selected and go up to charts and select a X Y scatter chart. Um, and there we have th this chart here. And this is real simple. Right click on the data, say add trend line. And you can add different types of trend lines here. We'll start off with a linear and uh, uh, and then in under options, and this might be different depending on which version of Excel you have, uh, you want to hit uh, check on display equation on chart. Uh, check that. And now we have this equation right here, which is the linear equation for the uh, for the transfer function we're trying to get. So we can check this by going over here and clicking equals um, and we'll use parentheses 0 0.0101 times our uh, that and And you can see there's a little bit of error here. Okay. Um, you, see, you can see the error between these two values. Um, actually, I did this the op opposite of how I wanted to. And that's why I should do this first before uh, I record. I'm just going to, uh, but I can fix that right here. So let me see. So actually, uh, what I'm going to be reading in the microcontroller, uh, thinking about this, I'm going to be reading the volts in, uh, determining what that is, and then I want to figure out what temperature that translates to. So really, the, the my x-axis I want to have as the volts, and I want to have temperature as this. So, uh, so the same thing, I can just go ahead and select this. And in the xy scatter, and... Uh, Add, oh, that's not what I wanted. Add trend line. 
say uh, I want linear options display equation on chart it's right there now if I go over here and hit equals 99.349 you know I'm reading this right off of the the chart there times this uh, that's a minus you know, make sure you check your sign there so it's a minus sign right there Oops. How about I put hey, put a decimal point in there? There we go. All right, and and you see, if I just wanted a, uh, you can see now that. My, if I apply this equation to this voltage, I get what was on the table. Um, you see there, there's a couple of places where it's maybe one degree off. And uh, we could also, uh, sometimes it's not a linear equation. Uh, and, to do, and we can use other types of trend lines to get the uh, same kind of information. So we can go format trend line. And up here we can uh, select, say, for example, polynomial. And this is the order, so this would be a second order polynomial, same thing. And you can see now we have a value times x squared plus a value times x plus that. And, and you can put that, plug that in there, and you can play with that to, to get a, a trend line that matches your data. Now, now I used a data sheet to come up with these values. You could also use experimental data. For, so, for example, if you had a... Uh, let's say uh, uh, all you had was uh, you didn't have the data sheet, just had the component, and you were measuring this output um, over here with the volts coming out. And let's say uh, you had another temperature sensor that was calibrated and you trusted it. You could take uh, a number of different measurements at different temperatures, uh, record those, the, the values in these columns, and do the same thing to develop your own transfer function. So now you can use this, uh, this equation here. Um, to uh, in a microcontroller to uh, get the uh, output you want. Uh, that's about it, and thanks a lot for uh, watching.